What is the pettiest reason you can't date someone? Wasn't my pettiness, but a girl I went on a few dates with wouldn't date me because she wanted to be the artistic one in the relationship and she was worried that me being a musician would spoil that for her. Edit, wasn't real deep into it, it was just a couple of dates. I don't feel negatively toward her. She was a nice enough person, lol. Also, music isn't my career, more of a passionate hobby. I work in IT by day. Only went on one date, but he named his cat Creamy, and the way he said it grossed me out. Ended things with a guy over various other reasons, but the most annoying was how many times he told me that he'd leave me for Miranda Lambert in a heartbeat. Which okay, I get it some people have a list of celebrities they'd leave their ass slash o over, mostly as a joke. But this was like every day, just randomly said not related to the conversations we were having at the time, and he meant it. He made sure I understood that if for some god-forsaken reason Miranda Lambert walked in through the front door, I was gone. She talks to people like they're a hundred meter away from her. She insisted on hanging out at home. She lived with like six people, and they always had friends over. I felt like a BF extra on Friends or Seinfeld. Cause she texted like this, smiley face, smiley face, smiley face, smiley face. Tongue sticking out, tongue sticking out, tongue sticking out, tongue sticking out, smiley face. She had the same first name and last name as my grandpa. My grandparents were very southern. When I was a kid, I spent the night at their house and heard them wrestling. I heard my grandpa say my grandma's name, Sarah, but with his accent he said Useru. I met a girl named Sarah who was also Southern. When she introduced herself as Seru, I had to nope out. It just gave me the heebie-jeebies. Inability to form a coherent sentence in text. She wouldn't clear the excess time off the microwave display. This thread is basically plot summaries from Seinfeld. He wore fake glasses and didn't like vegetables. She didn't like museums. She did that thing with her voice where every sentence she said ended with a question mark. She had the feminine version of my name and that's just too cutesy. She had the same name as my mom. Live, laugh, love style home decor. I almost broke up with a girl when she was trying to be seductive and yanked my book out of my hand and closed it losing my spot. When I txt wth, no vowels, yh why though? I can't date anyone with lip injections. It felt super unnatural kissing her. Like kissing a baboon with rigor mortis. I had a guy break up with me in high school because God told him to. I was like, uh, okay, guess I can't argue with that one. His last name was Fister. My wife once told me she couldn't be with someone who wasn't around the same level of intelligence as she. I have no idea how I'm going to keep it a secret that I'm a fucking idiot the rest of our lives. Having dated too, I now have a no nurses rule. She ate pizza with her hands. No, not like you think. She would scoop up the toppings in a messy pile and like an animal claw them up and eat them, then rip the bread and eat it. We were at a fancy Italian place and I got horrified. Years ago, I stopped dating someone once I realized he had weird nails. If they had the same name as either of my brothers or my dad, lol, no. I broke up with a pretty hot girl when I was younger because she didn't swing her arms when she walked. It just looked weird and reminded me of a gorilla. Really stupid reason I know, but it just looked so stupid and I couldn't overcome it. Eyes too far apart. All I could think about was Sid from Ice Age. Weird ears. I've also quit a therapist over this.